Currently, the US is at the forefront of this AI revolution, but other economies have also stepped in, and it won't be long until other countries join the race neck to neck with the pioneers. So which countries can give the US a tough time in this new shift? Let's find out. To kickstart this discussion, many countries of the European Union remain steadfast to catch up with the US, focusing on a vision to safeguard user data and privacy. Europeans' main goal isn't, or will never be, to head-on compete with the US or other countries. Rather, they are taking up the regulatory role. This does not mean that development in Europe is at a halt. They are doing what they can by utilizing resources at hand. To see what is cooking, one of our stops is at a bustling crossroads in Sofia, specifically the Lausanne district, a focal point of our study. Equipped with six LiDAR sensors, authorities conduct laser scanning to monitor traffic and environmental factors. This data aids in understanding air quality, measuring pollutants, noise levels, rain, wind speed, and directions. Slava Petrova Antonova is leading the city's digital twin project and aims to create a digital replica of Sofia City's central neighborhood. To achieve this, her team collects data throughout the city, utilizing a 3D model of structures like the Hotel Marinello for simulations. These simulations help them in comprehending wind flow and areas of high air pollution. AI is then employed to propose enhancements ranging from energy saving measures to improving walkability. The ultimate goal of the digital twin is to guide decision-making within the city. It allows for simulating what-if scenarios, preventing errors in the real city by making them in the twin digital city. Such AI initiatives that ensure collective benefit can be seen all across Europe. In Bulgaria, there are projects that are part of a global trend aiming to integrate AI into everyday lives, from smart cities like Santiago de Chile to research institutes in Poznan, Poland. AI is increasingly influencing various domains, including biochemistry and aiding in more efficient medical treatments for diseases like cancer. While AI is significantly contributing to advancements, concerns about privacy and ethical implications are critical. The European Union is leading in stringent data protection rules, aiming to regulate AI uses based on the risks they pose. Striking a balance between protecting citizens and fostering technological growth is crucial. Overregulation could deter investors and threaten Europe's technological progress. Nevertheless, the European Commission is optimistic about Europe's position in the AI race and emphasizes existing AI models developed within the EU. Initiatives like Insight are fostering fundamental AI research, striving to compete on a global scale. As per Greg Clark, MP's Insights, detailed in the recent KPMG report titled How the UK Can Win the AI Race, the looming impact of AI seems poised to define the very essence of this century. So how can the UK gain a competitive edge without overstretching its resources? This report delves into this critical question and proposes three compelling ideas. Firstly, there's a call to bring order to the disruption caused by the AI revolution. Recognizing that the UK boasts some of the world's best legal systems, the proposal is to establish a leading regulatory environment for AI. Public sentiment leans towards openness to AI, but with a wary eye on potential compromises in data security. A recent poll showed that 59% of Brits believe there should be more regulation concerning new technologies like AI. The primary concern echoed by many revolves around data privacy and security. Next on the agenda is leveraging the extensive data repository held by the NHS to bolster AI advancements, particularly in healthcare. The NHS's data reservoir is a national treasure, holding the key to a potential world-leading healthcare AI industry. In a recent poll, 56% of respondents expressed willingness to share personal data with the NHS if it led to improved services. Finally, there is a vital focus on future proving skills to safeguard the UK's position in the AI race. A looming digital skills gap necessitates urgent attention. Recognizing this, the report underscores the need for substantial investments in tech and AI skills at every level, spanning from schools to lifelong learning. Over 60% of survey respondents acknowledge the necessity of upskilling in the face of advancing technology and AI. Just like EU, UK will not compete neck to neck with the USA. Rather, they are also looking to leverage AI for the betterment of departments suggested by public polls. In South Korea, the AI model construction is primarily driven by industry, notably a significant AI language evaluation dataset called KLUE, or Korean Language Understanding Evaluation, is on the verge of release. Naver, a prominent company, developed the Hyperclova model, surpassing GPT-3 with 204 billion parameters. Hyperclova's real-time speech-to-text service is widely used by many in South Korea. Korea. 
Nvidia. The AI model is planned to be accessible for public research. LG is also heavily investing up to $1 billion over three years, with LG's EXA-1 being South Korea's largest model with 300 billion parameters. Various companies like SK Telecom, KT, and Never have produced and distributed AI speakers. While the younger generation isn't utilizing AI speakers extensively in their daily lives, they are remarkably popular in single-person households. Interestingly, AI speakers have shown to enhance mental performance in seniors, boosting their long-term memory, working memory, and fluency. SKT's AI speakers have made over 200 emergency calls, particularly aiding vulnerable seniors. Seniors appreciate AI call services, especially when the system recalls and continues previous dialogue. Never's Hyperclova offers a task-oriented dialogue system with saved call history, providing personalized responses to 50% of users. Samsung is also revving up to enter AI by releasing a food-based AI product. South Korea has it all, big tech giants and semiconductor manufacturing facilities to aid in the growth. All they need is to keep making strides in the right direction. Japan is turning out to be one heck of a competitor, but it faces a different kind of problem. Hideki Mirai, a special AI advisor to Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, emphasized the urgent need for Japan to significantly boost its computing power in order to establish itself as a prominent player in the global artificial intelligence arena. Japan, ranking as the world's third largest economy, has been sluggish in investing in this domain and is lagging behind the United States, particularly in AI computer infrastructure. The country currently has approximately 3,000 companies with access to a supercomputer at the government's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, providing a computing power of 0.8 exaflops. This amount is less than a tenth of what Microsoft-backed OpenAI had access to when creating the widely used chatbot ChatGPT, as reported by Japan's Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. To address this insufficiency, Japan has outlined plans to elevate the computing power at AIST to 2.8 exaflops by the end of 2024. Mirai further mentioned that the government is extending subsidies to companies like Sakura Internet and SoftBank Core to facilitate the development of supercomputers. Apart from that, the Japanese government claims to be prepared for offering data to train AI models. While Japan contemplates the optimal approach to leverage AI, it, along with fellow members of the Group of Seven Industrial Democracies, grapples with the challenge of mitigating potential social and economic disruptions that AI might bring about. Japan's inclination leans towards more lenient AI regulations compared to the European Union, which is actively encouraging Asian countries to adopt its stringent AI requirements, including tech firms disclosing copyrighted material used in generating AI content. If there is one country that would strive hard to compete with the U.S. to apprehend this AI race, that is China. China has set an ambitious goal to lead the world in AI by 2030. The Chinese government, armed with four times the number of engineers, is investing substantial resources into AI transformation and digitization. The rapidly advancing power of computer systems has the potential to impact every aspect of the 21st century economy. According to their goals, AI will be crucial in sustaining economic growth, propelling China's ascent as an advanced economy, aiding its escape from the middle-income trap, and importantly, maintaining performance legitimacy in the eyes of its citizens. While the U.S. currently holds the AI leadership, China is rapidly catching up and aims to claim the top spot by 2030. This future of AI was on display at a tech forum in Wuzhen, where DeepMind's AI was brought to China to engage Go players and facilitate learning from the machine. However, collaborative efforts between the East and the West have become increasingly adversarial due to the transformative power of AI. This competition is a cause for concern, as highlighted by Schmidt, chairman of the U.S. National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. He emphasizes the urgency of staying ahead in the AI race, underlining the potential implications if the U.S. were to fall behind. The Chinese State Council has issued a clear directive to prioritize AI development and implementation across the entire nation. AI is viewed as a general-purpose technology, akin to historical game changers like electricity and the steam engine, offering immense potential to boost productivity. Jeffrey Ding, a researcher at Stanford's Center for International Security and Cooperation, dispels the misconception that Beijing solely drives innovation. He emphasizes that Chinese companies are leading the way, and innovation is not solely directed by a centralized, top-down approach. Innovation has never been more emphasized in China. It lies at the heart of China's modernization efforts. Robin Lee, co-founder of China's popular search engine, Baidu, highlights the significant investments made by companies
companies like Baidu in research and development, aligning with government's focus on fostering innovation. Concerns about China's influence extend to geopolitical dynamics, notably in the waters around Taiwan. AI's role in the future is a factor in this equation, considering Taiwan's crucial role in producing advanced chips necessary for AI systems. The Cold War between China and the U.S. is real, and it will get colder and colder as the race to become the greatest artificial intelligence nation continues. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for the latest and greatest from the world of AI. I've made a video on how AI has become the electricity of this era. It's on your screens. Click now and I'll catch you there in a moment.